we're all connected via DNA. You come from your parents. You get 50% of your mom's DNA, 50% of dad's DNA. Well, a lot of things are in there. Your, your eye color, your hair color, your skin color, different disease, gene markers, and things like that, right? Then you have your epigenetics. Your epigenetics is your software that sits on top of your DNA or your genetics and decides whether it's going to actually let those, some of those genes express or not, right? So that's the, like the software on your computer. So just because you carry a gene, right? Let's say you carry a cancer gene. It doesn't mean you're going to get cancer. If you have the perfect soup to make that happen, yes, but your epigenetics is going to have to turn that on. So if you're also then exposed to environmental toxins and you have pneumonia and you get the flu and you have a lot of stress and then you might turn that marker on, right? But it's just because we have a genetic marker doesn't mean we're going to get it. So all these different experiences of having these two experiences and understanding how interconnected we are then led me to understand how we are all connected to our ancestors, whether they're in the spirit world or whether they're here. But, you know, this being connected via DNA is just one component. Then we're also connected via quantum physics, right? Because everything is connected in quantum physics. And then we also have our own experiences. 